What's up everybody? John with SB California Bushcrafts. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode we are checking out a brand new gear review on my new haversack from Malcolm Corridor, aka the Hidden Windspin. So stick around. All right, everyone. So we're gonna have a look at the, my new haversack here. This is from the Hidden Winspin. And as you can see, this is an upgrade haversack from the original haversack that I had. Now, um, in case you're wondering, and I know that one question is definitely gonna be asked this. Um, yes, the other haversack is actually still in very good condition. I'm still using that haversack, but now I've switched it over to my, um, to my bug out kit. And I'll be having a video on my bug out kit later on because I made some changes to it. I'm testing out a new product with that bug out kit later, and so I'm definitely gonna so look forward to that review later on. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the improvements of this particular haversack compared to the original one. Now, I swear to God, Malcolm Cordaire's um, products when he makes his haversack, when he does anything really really improves greatly and I'm truly impressed with how well he is actually just how far he has come and with everything that he's done so far and I and I really do enjoy using a lot of his products especially uh, this particular haversack now this is an upgraded version from my original haversack and there's a couple of differences um, obviously the first thing you will notice is that obviously it still has the axe sleeve and I do have my Gerber hatchet, my Gerber Gator hatchet with a spare knife on this kit. Another thing that I also do have as well is that on both the, on this side here and where you see my canteen system where it has this self-reliance outfitters canteen system, it does have Molly compatible strapping so I have extra places to store gear and while I'm talking, get a little water. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. So, um, again, a very nice shoulder strap, very comfortable buckle, and the, the buckle and the snap system is truly, truly, really well made, really well built. I actually absolutely love this haversack. Let's have a look at the cut at the inside of the bag. Double clip system to pull back the bag. There's also a pouch, a pouch here to actually attach a. Uh, stack on. I never thought about buying one of those. I should. Now a couple of changes that are different with this haversack. First change is going to be the main pouch right here. Um, before it was Velcro but now it's actually a zipper pouch and this is very very nice. The zipper actually goes all the way down and what I have here is I have a Coleman first aid kit. Blast match. I've got another canteen. I've got another can here with some Tender quicks, more fire starter, and then I've also got um, torch lighter. Can't see it because of the of the sun. Let's do it this way. Got a little piece of wood here. As you can see. Very nice torch ride. This is from Ultimate Survival Technologies. What else do I have in here? Ah, uh, yes, I've got a tick remover, although I never had any problems with ticks in California, but you never know. And a paintbrush, and I use this paintbrush to scrape off the shavings for when I sharpen my knives on my sharpener. So, let's go ahead and put this stuff back okay. 
Next pouch is another is a is the outside pouch, and again this pouch goes all the way down to the bottom of the haversack. I've got an Altoids tin with some with some denim and some esbit cubes, and there's also a small roll of duct tape. Denim in here works where it makes really good char cloth. I've also got my multi tool, Leatherman Wave. Bug repellent, get rid of mosquitoes. I've got these little tie outs that I made for my for my tarp for my um, tarp system. Out of paracord. So this is for my so this is for my tarp if I need them. Got another spare one. Uh, what else do I have in here? Ah, here we go. And of course, I got my sharpener. This is the um, what's this one here? Ah, uh, yes. This is the Workshar Field Guide Sharpener. Sorry about that. I kind of brain fart. <laughs> I love this sharpener though. It works great, especially when it comes to sharpening my knife. Very handy. So let's go ahead and get this stuff back in there. I don't know why I have this one in there. It's a smaller one, but oh well. You never know. Now the main compartment. Again, Velcro top. Keep everything nice and neat. Keep everything nice and neat. Got my coffee kit. We've got my. Whoops. Get in there. And my fire kit, bags made by Mike McQuinton from NCQ Bushcraft. An extra fixed blade, this is the Mora 2000. I did a review on this one. I love this knife, it does come in handy. Also got some bank line. Another one of Malcolm Cordaire's goodies. This is a Laplander sheath, but I use this one for my arrow folding saw. Fits very well in here. Got a dry bag that houses that houses not only my alcohol stove, but it also has my water purification system. This has a soy mint water uh, filter mini. Make sure everything's in here. Oh yeah, everything's in there. So I'm good. Sweet. A very nice dry bag. And no, that did not come from Malcolm. I bought that myself. I've also got Bear Grylls binoculars. I got my flashlight. This is the TN44. Love this flashlight.
Whoop. That was close. And then I've also got some fat wood. I've used some of it already. a couple of pieces left and I've also got a UST lantern comes in handy and on the inside of the bag there's this there's this pouch right here and it's very and hopefully you guys could see that you can see the pouch and as you can see it's this orange color so it's very seeable very noticeable as well as the inside of the bag as well Now the one thing that I know that people are going to be saying is you've got, obviously, um, is um, John, you've got paracord and you've got your bank light in there, but how come you don't have paracord? Well, that's easy. My paracord is actually in another bag that I left at home. But still. And that's it. That's my haver. That's my new haversack from Malcolm Cordera. Now, um, there's one other piece. There was one of the piece that was missing, and that is um, I usually keep a couple of spare knives. So I have two fixed blades. Actually, three fixed blades because the hatchet does come with a smaller fixed blade. But I've got another knife that I also keep with me as well in my pocket, and that is my. Um, that is my Swiss Army Ranger Ranger knife, and I'll, and I've done a video review on that one, but I think I might go ahead and redo that review again later on in the future. But still, it's a good knife. So I hope you guys enjoy this video on my new haversack system. I absolutely love it. I'll be posting links in the video description down below for in case you guys are interested in getting one of these haversacks from Malcolm Cordaire. And to be honest with you, he's really an awesome guy. He's got a a large variety of product he's all over the place and there's a lot of good people that do have a lot of his products I honestly would I consider him a very a, a very wonderful person a very unique um, person as well and all of his gear are 100% handmade handcrafted here in the United States of America and that is truly amazing that's truly awesome so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please give me a big thumbs up and please rate comment and subscribe Thank you very much for joining me today. I wish you all the best. And until next time, strength and honor. Be well, be safe. Get out there. It's a beautiful world out in the outdoors. And we'll see you next time. Bye.